just the quality of sprinters they have that are listed as freshmen. They have a lot of freshmen. Interview, and you said it's refreshing play. seeing the freshmen here show out for San Jose State. How proud are you of this Spartan team right now? I mean, Speed City is showing out, my goodness. Could be sub-21, making up the split on his teammate, who is crazy. also I had to be a different person really today. fast. So I just wanted to, you know, be different today. So. Well, boy, were you different today. I mean, let's see here. You are just a freshman. You broke a San Jose State record, a championship record by 0.01 seconds. And San Jose an State Speed City record. continues to roll. The only one faster than him is Tarver, his teammate who runs second Interview, here. You said it's refreshing seeing the freshmen here show out for San Jose State. How proud are you of this Spartans team right now? I mean, Speed City is showing out. My Hazel Gaspar. I'm from Washington State. Um, I do the multis, um, pentathlon, heptathlon, and high jump. Um, my high jump is a 168. It's been really hard. I mean, coming from a different state and like a totally different like environment, different people has been very hard for me. Um, I don't know. I'm like really busy because I'm like doing. I'm like working and school and. Um, getting like all that so it's like I don't know it's been like a little stressful because I'm on my own like I don't have any family or anyone here so it's like been really like different for me to adapt to but I mean I'm getting there um today I'm doing the pentathlon and possibly the DMR so we're, we might do the DMR depends how many teams are in it so like if there's eight then we're doing it and I'm doing the 800 in it but all I have to do is just get around I don't have to go super fast <laughs> so that's good <laughs> Uh, the pentathlon, it goes hurdles, high jump, shot put, long jump, 800. So it's like all in a row. And then the DMR is like the 400, 800, 1200, and 1600. It's a relay. Pentathlon, there's no next rounds. As long as you, like if you don't make a height, I mean, it's just going to tanker your score a lot. But I mean, like, I'm just going to do my best and see where it gets me. Oh, we'll do it in their, in their real prep okay. for their real one. But we are going to set up two lanes. <laughs> Greta, you are in heat two. Lena, you are in heat six. And Sai is in heat one. I actually love you, man. <laughs> love you too, man. I do, man. I appreciate it. You're going to be big. It's been a roller coaster of emotion. I mean, from the first meet, it was a possibility that I might have ran, but you know, I'm here today not running. Uh, so I just redshirted. it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Well, my season looking like red shirt, red shirt, unattached runner. You know, I mean, I've done it once before. I mean, it, it, it wasn't the plan or the route I was looking for this year, but you know, you gotta get it how you can. So, I mean, I'll have probably like four or five meets, most of them being at Cal or Stanford. By the Mountain West Network. Hello, everyone. I'm Adam Deal along with Eric Schultz. We'll be joined by Bridget Howard momentarily, but this is where the best of the best have come to claim a championship and a very fast track and a very fun atmosphere, and it should be a lot of fun these next three days.
Jesus, thank God she recovered. Hey. That's a battle. Oh my gosh, my chest hurts. Um, it's been okay. I mean, hurdles has been going really good. Um, just started this year, which is it's been really good. Um, high jump wise, could be better, but we're getting there. I mean, it's my first year here, so I mean, I have lots of time for improvement. Hopefully, outdoor will be a hundred times better. But I'm excited to see how today goes with high jump and tomorrow. I'm not really like nervous, but I'm like I'm like really excited. Like I'm like telling myself, like I've been telling myself for like days, like okay, Hazel, you got this. Like you can do this. You've done it like for years. Like it's easy. It's in the bag. So hopefully that will all stay, and then I can hopefully do some good stuff. two high jumpers on the team and it's been so I was kind of nervous like coming in like oh I gotta you know like she's she's my event we gotta be like friends you know but it came so easily and like it feels so good like I feel like I've known her forever and like she's definitely supportive always makes me laugh like we share room every meet and it's like literally amazing I don't know I think definitely her I love her to death so it's good. <laughs> tough one but I mean if, when you find good people to be around you just stick with those people and it's been great. In the uh, pentathlon for the women um, after event number one we did a pretty good job um, considering all things right in the multis you got to get it right on the first time obviously in the hurdles just like a hurdle race but the points are what we're trying to achieve so obviously the faster they run the higher point score they can get for all of them um, getting through some of the jitters. Uh, we had a couple of hurdle clips that kept us from, you know, essentially running as fast as we thought we could. However, um, in some of those cases, still ran season bests um, and put us in a good space uh, from a scoring perspective going into the next event. Individually pretty well. Um, I think that the cool part is, is whenever a kid PRs by two tenths of a second and is kind of irritated, that's, it's interesting, right? Like, um, we can live with that. Um, and I think that that happened in a couple of cases. Um, for a freshman to stumble over a hurdle and to just fix it and keep running, um, in most cases, had the outcome of that been her shutting down and not getting through a race, you could assume, ah, that's gonna happen. So for, for us, that set a tone in a different way because she just kept fighting. So that was a, a good showing and a good start and that's gonna carry into the next events. Just 
took off the wheel. Right. But that happens out. Take that photo. Right there. Come here. Come to coach. Stay that way, boom, the takeoff. Do me a favor. I just want you to make sure that you're running through your curb. Don't cut that short. Like run through that curb and then take off. It's, hey, it's all the same, like you do such a good job of running off the ground, same thing, but just bending it a little bit, right? So run two. Yeah! Whoa, there we go. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Got a girl. Get around, get past, and then take off. Boom, okay? Hey, you got this. Fuck. I made the, I made the right decision. I know. That's why. Like, that's why I'm like, come on, man. You, you fine. I'm gonna tell you like this. Still jumping are Hazel, Osai, yep. and Greta. No. <laughs> Hey, but you followed instructions, so we're good. You and I are good. <laughs> good That's all right. Just look, I don't want you to move back a lot because the thing is, is you're still jumping at that a little bit, but just move back like half the shoot. Give me more vert, okay? Hey, just keep it smooth, okay? Keep it smooth, keep working. <laughs> On the day, um, so it was a little tricky. Um, Greta crashed into the standards, um, and that's when the competition kind of changed a little bit. But again, she stayed composed. Um, that's one of the biggest things that we work on with her is just being in control of her emotions. She stayed composed and then got the next two bars. Um, so that was a good rebound from that. But then, you know, if energy is transferable, like what I tell these kids, then everybody else kind of saw her work through that and they started wanting, you know, to execute better. And so the execution was better overall. Um, Savannah jumped higher, Greta jumped higher, um, Hazel jumped higher, um, Osai Omorodian jumped way higher than what she thought she could. Um, and these are just the little things that we work on. So overall, they did a fantastic job. I think Lena's not very happy with her mark, but at the same time, from a scoring perspective, she's still in a really good spot. So for me, you know, we're gonna try to maximize the next event, um, but this event's over and now that's the biggest thing for them is to emotionally, mentally move on and then we'll be in a, in a good spot. There you go! Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, when you take that breath, really mean that break. Focus. You see how you hesitated on that? Oh, maybe, oh, I'm already there. Go through it, make it smooth. That's why we're not trying too hard. We're gonna make the, the movement efficient. 
on this third throw, take that breath, mean that thing, pump yourself up like you're the you're the person. So you go up there, get set because you're gonna get after it. You're gonna make it smooth. You're gonna mean your hips, you're gonna mean your legs. This calms down. All right, come on. Fix the mistakes, come on. I think they did pretty well. They went through the progression really well. They did better than they did have done in previous weeks. Technique was well. They started off better. They felt more confident, I felt. They looked better in the ring overall. Good job, brother. Get ready for the next. But yeah, it was, it was pretty well. Um, usually they start at a lower, uh, progression in their technique but they're able to start at the full movement which is a big uh, improvement for what they're doing so it's been it was pretty well it was good work it was everything got put together a couple of them did really well and some of them did okay they just got frustrated because they know they could have done better so there wasn't really poor performances out there it was just the frustration of the potential but potential don't mean shit until it's on the board it's, it's fine i mean we like in practice you, everyone's kind of helping out everyone. You know, they go to, because Tor's not here. Tor's, Tor's actually the throws coach. I am not the throws coach. Don't get you twisted. Mr. Coach, don't worry. I just help out. That's why I'm not no coach. But, you know, you're just helping out in practice. You know, you point out what's going wrong or what's going right. I've been in the sport since I've been 12. So I know kind of what's happening. I got an okay view of what's happening. So I got enough information to pass on to the youngins so they can kind of grasp it a little better, you know? And uh, it was it's almost comfortable. It's like a practice setting, you know? When we're even in competitions, you can, I've been in competitions so many times, there's two different things of throwing and competing. And you have to worry about both of those when you're helping someone out. Whether your words are taken away from them, whether they're, th they're thinking too much, or whether their actual technique is the problem. Usually, nine times out of 10, it's usually the head where they get too psyched out. So it's building that confidence in them in that first throw so he can transcend to the next two. Greta did, or not, Greta did actually pretty well. I thought, um, personally, I thought it was a little shaky with her technique, but she came out and really stood out. Hazel did an amazing job. Honestly, all of them took a big step up. Lena took a step up. The thing that was really good is throughout their three throws, they got better each throw. So you had Savannah that stood out. I mean, all of them stood out. They did very, very well. But some of them had better performances, not. But it is what it is. They still did better than previous weeks. You know, they looked better in the ring. They were just frustrated because they weren't able to break the potential they were able to do. Because practice and competition are two different things. So it's a little frustrating when you don't do as good as you think you could and know you could. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Oh, first time in a tough time. Oh, no. Lena, yeah. All Correct. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Not a bad day. I know, and I got a little mic right here. <laughs> what you want to say? What you want to lift off and finish the jump? Good. Good. Up, up, up. Hazel. Twenty-nine seven. Twenty-nine eighty. Nah, come to twenty-nine seventy. Still up, up, up. Get your stuff on, get ready for this eight. We gotta try to finish, we gotta fight. You know what like sure, it's not that great for right now, but like let's get it popping. You know what I mean? Like we still got things we can get done, okay? Oh, he a flirt. Still in a position to come out of here with double digit points somewhere between 10 and <laughs> 6. Okay? What did the paper say? 2. You know what I mean? So we're all doing really, really well. How you handle yourselves over the next 30 to 40 minutes is going to ultimately determine how you feel about your competition. Trust me on this. It's going to hurt. Guarantee it's going to hurt. But I promise you that if you run well, when you cross the line, you will be tired rather than being in pain. You'll be in pain if you cross the line and you know you ran a shit performance. Tell me, that's just how adrenaline works. Go out there and run for it, okay? I'm proud of everything you've done. Go out there and give yourself a performance that you can be proud of, okay? What, you, what else you got to say, buddy? Tell him, buddy. Tell him. 
You tell? No. no. Okay. Well, we do the pentathlon here next. I mean, indeed we are. Final event in the women's pentathlon. They go. That'll be four laps, Eric. They'll stay in their lanes or their outside, inside until they get to the start finish line. But Keller, with this placement right here, would have her as the champion overall. And the women's pentathlon, Tevins wins it, but Keller as your pentathlon cha champion. Saturday, where champions will be crowned.